Hello developer friends, in this series we are converting a platformer game into multiplayer game. In today's episode, we will see how to start game as multiplayer over network as client or as host mode. Let's write two functions and name them as start host and start client. Now we are checking the documentation of Unity Netcode to see how to start as host or start as client. In the starting a server host or client, we can see how to start as host or start as client. For starting as host or client, we need to use network manager and we need to call the network manager dot singleton dot start client or start host. If we use start host, then it will start the network manager as both a server and a client. As we know, host is both a server and a client. So, host can play as both as server and client. And if we start as client, then the network manager will be start just as a client. Let's copy this network manager dot single don dot start host client. And we need to paste in the start host answer. Let's paste. Now for using network manager, we need to import the unity.netcode package. Let's write using unity.netcode. And similarly, we will copy the start client function that is network manager dot singleton dot start client. Let's paste the line and save the script. Let's go to unity editor and we will attach this function to the buttons. Now in the unity editor, in the hierarchy select the network manager game object. We will attach the mode setup script to the network manager. Let's drag and drop the mode setup script to the add component in the inspector. Now the mode setter script will be attached. Now select the start as host button and in the inspector add a one click listener. Now in the object drag and drop the network manager and select a function from the mode setter script and select the start host function. Now similarly Select the start as client button, add an on click listener, drag and drop the network manager game object, select function from mode setter, select the start client function. Now the function has been attached to the with the buttons. Now let's save the scene and run. At first we need to add the scene to the build settings. The Current scene has been added to the build settings and it will be run. As soon as the game enter into play mode, we can see there are many errors. We can see that there is a null reference error in the health bar script of update function. We will disable the health bar script of health bar game object under UI canvas. For now, we will set up the multiplayer mode. After that, we will concentrate on the other things like health bar. Let's run the game again. So, after disabling the health bar script of health bar game object under UI canvas, the error has been fixed. But there is another error. The error is saying that player prefab has no network object assigned to it. So we need to assign a network object component with the player prefab. Let's open the player prefab in the multiplayer prefab folder. Let's select double click on the player prefab. 
let's double click on the player preference and in the inspector click on add component button and search for network object component let's add the network object script with the player prefab now if we play the game there is no errors let's start as host now as soon as we started as host the player has been instantiated but as the player is instantiating over the spikes so the player is being died so we need to disable this spike before a build for now we will disable the spike game object for that let's click on the spikes in the hierarchy and disable it now we will save the scene and make a build turn on the development build in the build settings and select a folder now we are running two instances of our build i have started as host on the left side whenever i am clicking the left button of mouse then an error is being occurred let's clear the error and if we try to move the player it being moved well let's start as client on the right side as soon as we start as client on the right side the two players has been synchronized one is of client and one is of host now if we try to move both player are being moved and on the host side as well if we try to move only a player then both player are being moved but the moving is not being synced to other side but we want to move only owner player not the both player and we want to sync the moving we want to sync the move and we want to move only one player so now we will fix the error which is being occurred on clicking the left mouse button on the left mouse button the player attack that is the fire is being added so we need to disable the player attack script for now we are disabling the player attack script from player prefab after fixing the movement we will again focus on these parts let's select double click on the player prefab and disable the player attack script and if we disable the player attack script the error on clicking the left mouse button will be solved actually the error is being occurred because of some null reference because the player prefab is being instantiated so the fireball references are not being set on the runtime for now we have disabled the player attack script and let's build we are running two instances of our build on the above we have started as host and on the below instance we have starting as client now two player i have been seeing now if we move the player on the client side two players are being moved similarly on the host side also two player is being moved but the moving is not being synced on the client side and if we try to move on the client side also nothing is being synced on the client other side that is on the server side so in the next video we will try to sync the movement of the players and we will try to move only the owner player not the two players together thank you friends we will meet in the next episode you can join my discord server 
for any help